Hey guys, it's Kevin. Today we're going to talk about uh, when you absent 1400 display a message, the printer's ink pad is at the end of uh, their service life, or you got all three lights blinking. So what are you going to do? There are two parts to solve this problem. First part is uh, uh, there's an ink counter inside of the printer, and uh, the, when the ink counter counts to maximum, and the printer gonna stop. So that's why you need to reset the counter for the waste pad. To do this, we can go to inkchip.net. There are other companies can do this, but uh, uh, this one is I always rely on, and uh, also the price-wise is cheaper. You're gonna see whenever you use uh, this kind of software, you need to turn off your virus anti antivirus scan. So it's kind of scary. So it's better to find a company that you trust. So we go to WIC, which stands for Waste Ink Counter. You can see it's nine dollars and ninety nine cents for one, and uh, six dollars or seven dollars for three keys. Before paying for it, I usually scroll down and find the model, make sure it is compatible. And then I'm going to install and read the counter first. Here's my 1400, so I'm going to scroll up and click English. That's going to download the English version. What you're going to find is after you install, um, it put an icon in your desktop, but when you run it, you may have this problem. That is because your antivirus uh, called it. You need to put an exception to tell the antivirus do not delete my program. I'm using Norton, so uh, here I expand it and uh, show the history. And at uh, where it says uh, Norton deleted my file, I go to more options, and uh, then I said restore my file, do not delete it. And, uh, and uh, you should select restore and exclude, that's uh, an exception, so the Norton will not delete this, this file in the future. Now when I click that icon, it will bring up this window. So I click the ink wisp counters. Oh, by the way, you have to plug in with a USB core. You cannot do Wi-Fi. So first thing is I read the ink, uh, the ink counter value. If I can read it, now I'm going ahead and buy the key. Actually, I already bought it because I know it's going to work. So here, uh, click reset the waste tank counters, put in the key, and uh, click OK. You're going to say it says done and uh, ask you to reset the printer. Okay, that was a piece of cake if you know how to add an exception in your antivirus software. After you use the software to reset the counter, now you physically have to install an uh, external tank to hold all those with inks. Uh, one way you can do it is go to eBay and uh, it normally uh, go with $23. And uh, they're, frankly, they're nothing worth $23 in the package. Uh, or you can just do it yourself. And uh, here is what you need. You can go to bchtechnologies.com, go to accessories, and uh, waste tank. It's not a resetter's waste tank, that's a resetter for a waste tank. Uh, you go to waste tank. You can pick up the piece you need. For example, you may, if you have a tube, okay, there are three things you need, absolutely need. You need a tube. If you have it, fine, don't buy it. And you have a connector. If you have some sort of connector, work for it, don't buy it. And you, you, you need a, some kind of jar. All, any jar works. Uh, you don't have to buy this jar. If you have a mason jar, you can drill a hole, go, go for it. For the tubes, make sure you get a 4 millimeter tube, not 2.5 millimeter. If you can drill a hole on the cover, you can put the ink tank right beside the printer. But today, uh, we're going to show you that uh, one option that you don't need to drill a hole. Uh, we use that uh, all-inclusive kit with uh, bottles uh, the, of Velcro, uh, the 4 millimeter tube, and uh, the connector. Yeah, I think it's uh, six thumb some dollars, not twenty three dollars. Uh, turn your printer to its back. You're gonna see uh, on each side there are two screws. So there are two on the left, two on the right. Remove those, and there are one screw in the middle. Uh, you cannot miss it. So there are five screws: two on left, two on right, one in the middle.
Then I usually use an uh, envelope opener, just start poking. We won't be need this plug, so you can just uh, poke it out. You will break the tabs on the plug and just throw the plug away. That hole, which was covered by the plug, will be the hole that the tube comes out. Now just poke and uh, remove the right side of the panel. On the right side, at the end, lift it up and move out. Uh, don't worry if you break the tab. And uh, I know some people they just they don't even want to put the the panel back. And here's the thing we're gonna work on today. Here's the 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 red and the clear tube that comes from the printhead. So we're gonna disconnect this tube. Slide this uh, metal clamp back a little bit. Then you can just pull and disconnect the tube. And now you can see why we select this 4mm tube. They are exactly the same diameter. Now we slide this uh, connector to the, uh, to the Epson tube and uh, reclaim it with uh, the metal clamp. And then to slide uh, the, uh, the, the waste tube uh, on the, to the other end. There's a nice opening on the Epson part, the white part. So I normally go uh, put, a, put a tube through it. Now I can thread the tube uh, inside uh, the Epson and tape this part. And put the panel back. I put two more pieces of tape to secure the tube. I make sure the tube was coming out from the square hole that used to be covered by the plug. And I put a piece of tape there and ju ju just hold the, the tube's position. And uh, put all the screws back. And if you want to stable it with Velcro or whatever on your table, that'd be great. Uh, in the future, your waste ink will come into this jar and collect it. Uh, when the ink is full, just take it out, dump it out, rinse it with water, and put it back. I hope you like this video. Visit us at www.bchtechnologies.com or locally. Greensboro, North Carolina. Cheers.